New details turn the tables on the deadly stabbing of a Meriden teenager. Did the victim actually attack the stabber? Good evening, I'm Ann Nyberg. And I'm Keith Coons. Meriden police have released new information on in the case, saying the two teens had actually been stabbed in self-defense. But the family of the victim says that's not true, and police are trying to protect the suspect. News aides Jamie Muro is live tonight in our Hartford newsroom with more on this latest development. Jamie? Well, Keith and Ann, Meriden police are saying that 15-year-old DeAndre was, quote, high, and that witnesses are telling them, several witnesses are telling them that DeAndre was, quote, looking for trouble and wanted to beat someone up. The teddy bears are wet with rain. His picture is washed out. A utility pole is covered in black ink, messages of remembrance. With the pain so many clearly feel over the death of 15-year-old DeAndre Felton, there has also been the thirst for answers as to what led to his stabbing death, as well as the stab wounds inflicted on his 13-year-old friend. The answer may surprise you. The two youths uh, attacked this individual. Uh, he had a pocket knife, defended himself. Uh, he's been cooperative with us for, for the entire investigation. Meriden police say they have consistent witness accounts of the instigation by Felton and the subsequent defense by the unidentified man with a knife. When he found out that one of the individuals uh, had died, he was, he was very upset. He was very upset. Look at where the injuries were. They were in the back. You cannot stab somebody in the back, kill them, and then say that it was their fault. Pastor Dante Moss, who has been counseling Felton's family and presided over DeAndre's funeral, says the child's family is not accepting their son was the aggressor, and neither does he. But because it is little DeAndre, the little black boy, that, you know, it, it's, it's, it's typical. He was looking for trouble. He, he's, so he deserved this. He deserved to die. He deserved to have chunks of his heart pulled out, deserved to have several ribs broken, but yet it's his fault. DeAndre has a family member who's a Meriden police officer. Police say the case remains in its infancy and is turning all evidence over to the state's attorney. This story is far from over. This story is, is literally from reading what I've read. If this is what they want to release, then hell is to pay. We want to make sure that the facts are put out there and uh, there's no place in this, in this city for people to uh, spew venom or give uh, contradictory information to the facts. Clearly, this has been a difficult situation for many aspects of this Meriden community. Now, police tell me they did not release this information until today out of respect for Felton's family because Felton was buried yesterday. Again, they said they are still investigating. They do not know yet if anyone is going to be charged here. Now, there is a full press release in which also police start detailing what they're going to do to step up efforts to curb youth violence. You can read all of this on our website at WTNH.com. We're live in the Hartford Newsroom. I'm Jamie Muro, News 8.